Hi, how you doing? My name is Bjorn Thorkelson. I'm going to show you how to use the proportional divider um, to um, actually enlarge this photo and put it onto your drawing surface. Okay, so it's using the proportional divider with photo reference. Okay, the main thing is you need a vertical line and a horizontal line, horizontal line to measure against. Wherever you want to put them on this drawing, it's just fine. It, wherever it makes sense for you to put them, it will be will work just fine. So you can see right here, I put my horizontal line lining up with that top leg, okay, and then my vertical line lines up with the furthest most point of this waist coming out there, all right? So now I need to put it down on the paper and a lot of people tell me they could never be an artist. They can't even draw a straight line, right? Well, neither can I. So there you go. Um, I draw in these lines quite a bit darker than I normally would. I usually keep them really light, but in this case I want you to see what I'm, what I'm going to be doing. Now first of all, I'm going to put this here, and I'm going to like measure a few points on this side. You can see most of the measurement is going to go on this side, but let me just get an idea how far, maybe how far down that foot goes, okay? So, now first of all, with this divider you can actually take this little, um, uh, this little red knob, and you can like the further you go to this end, the the larger the proportion is going to be, or it'll be smaller at this end and even larger at this end. Five to one relationship at this end, one to one relationship towards the middle. Okay. Um, so anyway, let's see here. I'm going to first of all find out how far down that foot goes. Let's see, it goes down right about there. Now, what I'm doing, what I'm trying to do here is just find landmarks, key marks that'll help guide me throughout the drawing so I won't get far off base. Um, now I'm going to take and see how far that foot comes out. Okay? So it comes out to there. So that's that foot coming out, right? Now I can also, I know that the top of the, that leg comes there, and I can pretty much guess having this information where things are going to go. If I want to double check, see where this part of the dress comes, okay, it's got to come right through there. Foot, there's the side of the dress, there's the top of the leg. I know the waist is going to start out right there. And I'm just going to move this to this side and just mark a few more key points. Then I'm just going to start drawing, okay? Let's just find out how far over this is. Now, this is a good example of where I could have put this vertical line. I could have lined it up right like that, and that would have made a lot of sense, okay? And it would have gone right up through the face. In any case, this this will work. So, small side onto the reference, and then transfers over using the, the larger end of the divider. Okay, this comes down there. Actually, comes in, you know, comes out just a little bit towards the, the base there. Now I can also go here, okay, to the bottom of the foot. Comes right about here. Now I know the foot doesn't go off further than this, but so comes right in there. Okay, the waist comes right on here. Nice little bend main body. I'm just kind of punching in a few things here to see. With all this information, I definitely can get closer getting all the upper part of the body put in there because I have a reference. You know, I have something to refer against. I know that the hand goes right in with that line. Let's just see how far that elbow is. Okay, so I'm going to see how far that is. Okay, that works. Now let's see where that head hits. I'm going to go up from here, get the chin, okay, the chin's going to come right in here, and then I can also measure this, see how far out that will be. Okay, so here's the edge of the head. So the chin's there, Sleeve here, arm, come in there. Look at that negative space. 
right here. Make sure you're, that's going to help you a lot. I can see as it comes in, it kind of makes a triangle and got more negative space. So these lines help you in multiple ways. Now another thing you can be doing is um, you can line up different things. For instance, I can take the edge of this finger, line it up, and it, see it hits right in the middle of the hair there. Um, let's see if I can find a better thing here. Okay, how about the wrist of the hand lines up with that portion of the face? Okay, you know, just different things you can do to, whatever you can do to find what you need to find, you do. Now let's find out how high up that hand goes, the wrist of the hand. Okay. So that's going to go up there. I need to bring this head up quite a bit more. Okay. Now, straight up from here. Fingers, straight up from here, the fingers got to come out here. So the hand price starts out just a little further out. Okay. All right. What you see here is the basic, the basic arrangement. Um, as far as design, you know, I could throw a little bit of the window behind her coming in here, just to kind of balance things out. Give you a little hint of this. Um, Okay, now I'm just going to flat out, you know, I'm going to draw, okay, and uh, see if I can get the basic, you know, everything in there. But I want to maintain, one of the things and one of the important benefits I think that you get from using this technique instead of the gridding technique is that there is a sense of freedom and you have a tendency to really draw and actually make those modifications that you probably need to make as an artist. Whereas with a grid, you tend to copy exactly what you're seeing in the photo. So this is where I can kind of be free. I can lengthen out some things if I want to. I can change some things up, but the overall proportions are going to be basically right on. And if I ever have a problem throughout it, I can come back and check it. So let's just go ahead and draw though. And enhance that waist kind of coming out there. Push that, stretch this, compress right in here. To get this feeling of really compressing in here, probably dark in that area, in this area, you kind of keep the swoosh there. Bit of value. Again, I think it, it lends itself to uh, to real drawing that um, other things like the like the gridding system can't quite match.